In this short video, I'm going to be discussing two commands in AutoCAD and any AutoCAD-based software that uh, are, have been there for uh, a little bit, but are not quite known very well. And I know this because uh, I, I, I talk to people and in my support and training with them, and I find out that uh, you know they there's always this. I wish AutoCAD did this, and I say, well, yes, it did, it does, and here's how it is. Uh, the first command I want to talk about is the join command, okay? Uh, now, we all know about the p-edit, where if I had a line, you know, here, and a line here, and a line here, okay? And I run the p-edit command, and I select the line here, and it asks me, do you want to convert it to a polyline? I say yes, and then I can join the lines together to make, you know, um, to make a one line, one polyline, I should say. Well, you know, that's great. I, I still use that sometimes, but there are times when I, I don't want to enter into the polyline command, and this command makes it so much easier. As you can see here, I have one, two, three lines. If I can click on that, there you go. Three lines, they're all, you know, endpoint to endpoint. That's the key thing here. Okay, they got to be endpoint to endpoint and coplanar. Okay, they can't be on different uh z elevations z values i should say so uh the command is join and if you're looking for it in the ribbon it's under the home tab modify panel and it is this button right here uh join if you're a typer like i am the simple command is j enter you just type in j you select the items that you want to join together you hit enter and now i have one item rather than three okay so it makes it a little bit easier so like the, if this rectangle right here needed to be a command j enter i want that to be joined and i want that to be one entity and now i have one polyline where they're all joined together so that's the join command j enter uh the next command i want to talk about is called uh the overkill command or the delete duplicate objects command okay now the command to type this in is overkill so um i don't use this command uh, every job every project i do use it quite a bit to clean up drawings but once you use it you're pretty much done so i don't bother with typing in overkill you can but uh it's this broom right here in the home tab modify panel i'm going to click on the broom for overkill and it it ask me what to select the objects so before I do that let me explain what's going on here okay uh, as you can see here I have somebody in the you know drew this line here and this line here and they overlap as you can see they're they're not endpoint to endpoint so I can't use the join command to fix them because this line actually ends you know right here and the other lines uh, continue so if you're given a situation where you have items that overlap and you want to you know fix them like in this block over here let's take a look at this this column i should say as you can see i have a bunch of lines in here someone had copied this on top of itself several times and then uh over here i'm going to show you here i also have several lines here someone has copied themselves over several times and over here I have uh, two lines. One is red and one is white. They're on the same layer, but I did that on purpose to talk to you about what's going to happen next. Okay, so just just understand that this is a cleanup tool. Rather than going through and fixing all the items that you need to you know remove manually, I use the overkill command. And when I go uh, uh, when I launch the command, it says to select the objects. I'm just going to select the entire drawing in this case. And this dialog box pops up and it says in here, you know, object comparison settings. So I want a tolerance of 0.000001, or I think I may set just enough zeros, but we'll, you'll see. You get the point here. Uh, you can tell it what to ignore and the options down here, you know, it's going to optimize segments with polylines. You know, it's going to combine collinear objects that are par that partially overlap. It's going to combine collinear objects when aligned end to end, and it's going to maintain associative objects. So I'm going to click OK, 
And down here at the command line, it says, I had 42 duplicate objects deleted, and 29 overlapping objects were also deleted, which means they actually combined this column right here is now one entity. If, if I were to hover over that because I had my selection cycling on, you'll see that I have nothing on there except one line. This column over here, right here, is now just one entity. If I were to erase this, you will see at the command line it says four items found rather than however many we had earlier. And then let's come back over here to our column here. Now, why didn't the red line uh, adjust or get merged out of there? These items did. I, I only have one item here and one item here and one item here. Well, when it combines these items and merges them, it combines them also based off their layers and their colors. So it's only going to combine these lines that are on the same layer or on the same color. So uh, just just be aware of that. Okay? So I hope this helps.